Yo, what's good? It's your boy Taj, and we're back with the Flash, man. Before we get started, like and subscribe if you're new. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links that, uh, will be in the description. Um, yeah, I think this is the last episode of this graphic novel. I think. I'm pretty sure it is. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. But I'm pretty sure, like, this is the last of this graphic novel. Um, we're getting, <laughs> uh, like this episode about to be crazy we're about to have like an eddie in this episode ronnie like um it looks like chester's dad might be coming back or something uh uh barry's mom like oh my gosh like he definitely about to be torturing them this episode so i'm hyped to see how they wrap everything up um i hope it's not in some half-baked ass way because i'm gonna be mad as hell um because I've definitely enjoyed this season. This season has been good. There's a couple episodes here and there. It's like, meh. But for the most part, the season as a whole, this season has been good so far. So I hope they wrap this up strong and, you know, set up the next um, graphic novel. So I'm hyped. And I also heard that Eric Wallace wants to do another, like, event at the beginning of season nine, like he did with Armageddon. Dude, that would be dope. That would be dope. I would love that, you know. And I also heard um, the actress that plays Cecile, she said that there's a special cameo of a character at the end of this season. And it's somebody that, you know, whoever we're thinking is not that person. So anybody who's already appeared on the show, cancel them out. I'm thinking people who either hasn't been here in a while or people who has been on these shows but just hasn't, you know, been on the Flash episode or something like that. It has to be somebody. I'm thinking maybe Superman. Um, but I could be wrong. It could be somebody else, but I'm ready to get into it, man. I'm ready to see what they got for us, so let's get into it. Oh, and don't worry. I know I've been gone a long time, but I'm not leaving until you're all better. Okay? Not letting that Skeletor put another bony finger on my sister. I just gotta finish the max crowd circuits and should be good to go. Guys, I need you in the med lab. It's Caitlin. I just felt another huge wave of grief from her. I just keep picturing Dad die. It's all I can see over and over again. Him on the floor. Connected to the crowd circuit. <laughs> crowd circuit's connected to the... Oh, hell no. Um, could you run a search for any extra dimensional energies or cold fusion anomalies in the area? Of course, Barry Allen. Search. He's here. Actually, I'm everywhere. Woo! And nowhere. Master of death and all of its inhabitants. Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! Oh! That's what we doing already? I didn't think we was going to get that into like... 10 minutes no not 10 minutes but like almost a halfway point yo bro okay okay flash yo this better not be some big old <sighs> cgi fest fight between frost and and uh death storm because i'm be kind of mad like a like a big ass kaiju fight like it better not be nothing like that it better be good if they fight, it gotta be good. I don't want to see them just throwing fire at each other. That's gonna be whack as hell. I might speak that into existence. I'm gonna shut up now. You are not a real person. You are a faulty experiment. A broken mirror who can't aid me in my cause like the others. I said it. Shut the hell up! Your ghost dad's back too. Oh yeah, I lost him in the hole. Please, sweetie, stop. You're gonna hurt yourself. This is just another manipulation. I've been watching you. Your life. What's happening to Iris? There's no cure for her temporal sickness. No secret answer. Your father died. I died. And now your poor sick wife is gonna die too. 
and there's nothing you can do to stop it. <laughs> this is so weird, bro. I don't sure like I this. I can't get you a cup. Oh, no, thank you. Eddie. Come on, guys. You know nobody's leaving till Iris is all better. <laughs> he looks so creepy. <laughs> It's, it's, it's berries and allegras and chesters and Iris. I hate her powers, bruh. All of their pain and their sadness. I hate Cecile Powers. Why is she here? I get mad every time. I was okay with her character when she was just a a, a DA. But now she's just unnecessary. Like her powers are a goddamn plot device, man. And I don't know if it's the actress like her acting choices or she's being directed like that but um yeah i hate it i hate it because it feels like she over overacting and it's kind of blowing me yo i'm not even gonna hold you i hate it like so much <laughs> i hate it bro. like the whole bride thing threw me off everything else is working for me in this episode but that whole exchange i'm good i've just really improved the security recently just not as much as they thought et voila madame your very own cryo circuit. Wow, you must be the infamous Mark. 200 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take, which means that you've got about 20 minutes. Oh my God. When your internal temperature reaches up or not, you care about each other. And here you are, trapped in a room. Can we not force this? Iris's impending death won't just mean that she's gone. It will mean that Nora and Bart will never exist. I'm not trying to be cruel about the rest of them. Oh my God. Just like I knew. I oh my, my God. would mean something. That I could erase the reverse flash from existence again. And again and again. What I did didn't matter at all. You ain't lying. I showed them the deaths of the people they love. Oh my God. With the help of their grief, the bride's transformation will be complete. Well, then one way to find out. So, um, all my money is on Frost dying right now. <laughs> the stuff with Eddie, bro, like he essentially died for nothing because they didn't get rid of the reverse flash. He kept coming back. <laughs> Eddie literally died for nothing. I'm kind of mad about that because I like Eddie. Um, Eric Wallace said something about um the actor coming back again. And he said that if they get renewed, which they already got renewed, that his story will continue in season nine. But if this is just one of Deathstorm's tricks, does that mean that Eddie is really coming back in some form? Because if that's the case, Cobalt Blue? No, it's not real. Yes, it is. Now you're going to lose everything, Iris. Your family, your future. Gadgets. And the one time you need to come up with a big idea, the one time it really matters, you can't do a damn thing. What the? Bro. I can see them. Stars. Gadgets. Just the opposite. You make my life complete. Can feel it radiating oh my god bro I'm not just frost you can tell she's pregnant <laughs> you can tell she's pregnant so dad are you guys okay yeah, i'm okay we're okay the team mm. not gonna lie i'm not feeling it I was like, I was liking the creepy, creepy factor of this episode, but that part right there kind of turned me off. I'm not going to lie. 
If you like it, let me know. But yeah, I'm good. You know, the writing for this show, they need new writers. Um, yeah, listen, I'll volunteer. Because <laughs> right? I can't, I can't with this. I can't. You can obviously tell Danielle Panabaker is pregnant in a damn suit. I cannot believe they had her in this. They couldn't have switched it and had Barry get the power so he could be like Black Flash or something. Like, they could have came up with something better than this, man. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just me and everybody else is enjoying it. But let me know how y'all feel about it because... That part, I was kind of like, yeah, I didn't care for it. Surprise. What the hell? What have you done? Now let's party. What the hell is going on here? What the hell just happened? That was kind of cool. I'm like, we'll sit up here in front. Brett, nah, yo. You can tell it was CGI, by the way. Um, I still think Deathstone looks fine, but you could tell Katie. Why am I calling her Katie? Frost! She was goddamn CGI. My goodness. Well, we got eight minutes left. Listen, bro. I expected more from this. I mean, I'm not... It's not bad. But it's some stuff that's not working for me. But I can't put my finger on it. Because I'm trying to process everything. That's the thing with reacting. After I'm done the episode, when y'all commenting to me, I'll, I'll have it. But... Right now, I'm kind of out of it right now. I'm not even going to lie to you. But the fight, the fight looked like Zuko and, uh, what's her name? Azula fighting. How they had the little fire coming out the feet. <laughs> That's the, the avatar vibes it gave me. But it was cool, though. That fight was, I was expecting that to happen. But it felt too easy, like, with her just taking the thing off his chest and absorbing it. Because I'm, I was wondering, I was like, she took it off his chest, but can he just dip off as a flame? And then she absorbed him. So I'm guessing she's going to die. And I'm probably right. No, 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 no. That's impossible. Her eye ceiling's not kicking in. She's flatlining. Get me the paddles. Here, I was right about Frost dying. Well, where is she? Frost died. Um, I expected them to do that though. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, people have been complaining, complaining about the Flash always needing help and having this big team aspect and stuff like that. There's always been a team, but Flash has usually did the hero work on his own out in the field. And so I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing by killing killing Killer Frost off. Well, just Frost, but I would have felt more emotional at the end had Mark been like a bigger part on the show. Like if you saw them constantly together. And I'm gonna be completely honest. Season four, I, I mean, mm, season four, season seven, I checked out of most of that season. So I'm pretty sure they had a lot in that season, but I gave up during the Forces storyline. I didn't start watching again until Godspeed. So, and I watched season six. I don't remember him being in season six. I could be wrong. I haven't rewatched those seasons um, in a while, but I, I would have felt more emotion towards him. You know what I mean? If, you know. But, um, yeah, overall, I'm mixed on this episode. Mixed a lot on this episode. Um, 
yeah like i like a lot of stuff but there was a few things i didn't like so yeah and based on the previews for next episode honestly um it's gonna be like very emotional because frost died and stuff like that so um you know we'll see i thought we was going to start the next uh what's it called graphic novel but i guess we're not um i expected at least a tease or something it just felt too easy like he was really bodying people bro and it just felt too easy that they finished him like that like i I don't know, man. I just don't know. That CGI fight was kind of cool, though. I'm not going to lie. Because you can tell it's CGI. I mean, it is what it is. But I thought it was a good fight. All in all, like I said, I'm mixed on this episode. But I'm going to get up out of here. I'm hungry as hell right now. I got some peace upstairs. I'm about to go smash. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm out of here. Um, Remember to like and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video.